Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we're going to make an easy project. We're going to make a skinny scarf. This is great for beginners, and I think you're really gonna like it. I will list everything you need in the description box below, so grab your materials and let's get started. The yarn I'm using for this project is from Charisma, and it's a bulky number five. The color is Royal Blue. I really, really love Charisma yarn. So go ahead and start by making a slip knot, and we're gonna place it on the first peg of the loom, right above the anchor peg there. And we're just gonna use this first peg as our anchor peg. And then we're going to do the E-wrap stitch, which is making tiny little E's on each peg, which is going to form our E-wrap cast on. We're gonna wrap until we get to peg 14. I went ahead and placed a stitch marker on peg 14 so I wouldn't forget and I would know when to turn around. So here's my stitch marker. It's basically a tiny little rubber band. So now I'm gonna go the other way and we're gonna do the E-wrap cast on. So I'm gonna make the tiny E's again right above the first set of tiny E's. So secure your yarn with your finger, take your tool and take the bottom stitch and place it over the top stitch. Again, this is called the E-wrap cast on. It's a very simple cast on. And just do this the whole way down. So go ahead and push your stitches down. You don't have to push them all the way down because now we're going to do the purl stitch. So we're going to skip the first peg and then we're going to start on the second peg doing the purl stitch. Now the purl stitch, you take your working yarn and place it below the stitch on the peg, pull the working yarn through the stitch on the peg, making a loop, take that loop off of the peg and place the loop back onto the peg. So here I'm making my loop and then I'm gonna remove it and place that loop right back on the peg. There's a bigger loop there, so place that back on the peg and tighten it. And the last peg we're going to knit. We're not gonna do an E-wrap knit, we're going to do a U-stitch knit. So we're just gonna make Wrap the yarn around the stitch and make a U and then knit over. So now we're going to skip the first peg that we just did the U wrap knit and we're going to go back and E wrap. Okay, now that we are done e-wrapping, we're going to do the purl stitch again. So again, we're gonna put our working yarn below the stitch on the peg and pull that working yarn up through the peg to make a loop. And then we're gonna take that loop off of the peg and replace it back onto the peg. And you're going to do this the whole way down, except for that very last peg. Again, you're going to do the u-wrap stitch. So it's the same process through the whole entire scarf of doing the E-wrap and then the purl stitch. And then remember, after the purl stitch, do a U-wrap stitch on the very last peg. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I like to do. And what we're doing here is I'm doing the E-wrap stitch, as I have been doing, and now I'm going to knit over those stitches just stitch one and stitch two. Now we're gonna take our working yarn, and remember when we purl, we skip the first peg. So we're gonna start on the second peg. So we're gonna kinda of do two things at once to make the project go a little faster. Now you don't have to do this, but it's a to me, I like doing it a lot, and I thought I would show you. 
So here I'm knitting over and then I'm just going to do my purl. So I'm going to knit over and then do the purl stitch. And this is the way that I have been doing it uh, to make things go a little faster so you can get it done quicker. Some may disagree and think that it doesn't make a difference, but it's just something I decided to try and I really like it. So I thought, like I said, I thought I would show you. When I first started doing this, I thought it was confusing, honestly. I, Especially when I was going around in a circle, I got a little off track and I had to do it a few times. But once you understand and know where the stitches begin and start, it's really simple. But like I said, you don't have to do it this way. This is just an alternative method if you like it or not. We're getting towards the end of the row here. So we're still knitting over. And then we have two more. So we're gonna purl stitch this peg and then we're going to knit over and purl stitch that peg. Now the very last peg only has one because remember we do the U wrap stitch for that. So don't forget that. So it's just as normal as, as if we weren't doing this. The same, it's the same procedure. And then we're, you come back the other way where you skip the first peg, E wrap the second peg, and E wrap all the way down. So it's going to look the same. You just do it's, it's like kind of like a two for one. You do it all together. So here I am doing it the, the original way where I'm knitting over. And then I'm going to come back and do my purl stitch. So I'm curious on which way you like better. Let me know in the comments. Now it's time to change skeins. So we're going to add a new skein of yarn to the existing that we already have done. So in my left hand, I have the new yarn and in my right, you'll see, or on the right side, you'll see the other yarn that I had cut, leaving about five to six inches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a slip knot and I'm going to place it on the peg beside where my, where my yarn is cut. So the peg with the slip mark, 
the slip marker is um, where my yarn is cut. So I'm going to place it to the left. And I'm sorry, I said slip marker, I meant stitch marker. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that in a knot. And again, I'm placing my slip knot on the peg to the left of where my yarn ran out. So I'm knotting it. You can knot it once or twice. It's up to you. However, you know, you know how it feels. It should feel nice and snug. If it doesn't, then make two knots. So then I'm going to hold that down and I'm going to proceed as normal. So I'm going to start doing the E-wrap. I would skip the first peg and continue down doing the E-wrap stitch all the way down. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to do the fast method here. So I'm going to knit over the first two and then I'm going to do the purl stitch the whole way down. So I just wanted to show you how to do the yarn changing. Okay, now we're at the end, so you'll take both of these stitches, use them as one, and knit over, and then do your purl stitch as normal. And then we're at the last peg, so you will do the U-wrap stitch. Now, when we're done here, we're just going to cut off the excess yarn now that everything's knotted, so you'll just give this a trim, and you won't even be able to see it. Now it's time to bind your scarf off of the loom. So we're going to start where your stitch marker is and we're going to do a, a knit, just a flat knit on the first peg and again on the second peg. Then we're going to take the stitch off of the second peg and place it on the first peg. Then we're going to knit over the first peg. Then we're going to take that stitch off of the loom and place it on the empty peg to the left. Now we're going to take our working yarn, knit the next peg, and take that peg, that stitch off of the peg, Move it to the right, tighten it up a little, and take the bottom stitch over the top. And then we're going to remove that stitch off of the peg and move it again to the left. We're going to knit the next peg, remove that off, place it to the right, and knit over that stitch. Remove the stitch off of the peg, place it to the left, then we're going to stitch, knit over, take it off and move it to the right, knit over that peg, take that stitch and move it to the left. Then we're going to knit the next peg, take the bottom over the top, take the stitch off of the peg, tighten it up, knit, take that off, move it to the left. Then we're going to knit the next peg, take that off, tighten, and then we're going to take the bottom over the top, 
move that peg over, knit the next peg, take that stitch off, place it to the right, knit over, take the stitch off and move it to the left, tighten, then we're going to knit the next peg and continue the same procedure the whole way down. So again, it's the same exact procedure of binding off. So we're going to knit, take it off of the peg, move it to the right, knit over, take that stitch, move it to the left, And we are almost done. Knit to the left, knit that over, take that off of the peg, move it to the right, knit over, take that off of the peg, move it to the left, knit over, I'm sorry, knit the next peg, Knit over this stitch, take this stitch off of the peg, move it to the left, tighten. Now we're on the very last part. So we're going to knit that stitch, take it off of the peg, move it to the right, and then we're going to knit over. We're gonna take that off the loom First we'll cut, and then we're going to place the loop, the yarn through the loop, and tighten. So now it's secure. Now I'm gonna get a darning needle and we're gonna sew the loose ends into our scarf. And this is really simple. There's no perfect way. I say this in every video. There's no perfect way. I personally hate doing this, but you have to do it. So what I'm doing with this scarf is I'm going down and then I'm going to find a different set of stitches and work my way up just hiding that tail is your goal and making sure that the tail is secure so hide it and then pull it stretch it a little bit just to even things out and then just give it a cut so as you can see everything looks nice and you'll want to do the same thing on the opposite end right here where you first started. Just hide that in and as you can see we have nice clean edges and a real pretty stitch. So I hope you've liked this project. If you do please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.